Okay, Fisker Ocean, a lot has happened. Let's break it down with all my worries. First, production. The new expectation is 32 to 36,000 this year. Not great, but expected because regulatory approval was slower than Fisker thought. Speaking of regulatory approval, Europe is a go, but we're still waiting here in the U.S. Fisker claimed during their earnings call that it would happen this month, but no EPA numbers yet, despite this email that's going out right now. Fisker Ocean deliveries planned for June. Your update for the latest Fisker Ocean production news. Hello, Adam. As a Fisker reservation holder, we are providing you with an update regarding the Fisker Ocean production and delivery timelines in North America. We expect our earliest North American vehicle deliveries will take place in late June. A variety of factors, including delivery speed and the logistics capabilities of our delivery centers, will determine the first wave of vehicles delivered. Customers who are part of the first wave of deliveries will start receiving their estimated delivery dates via email as early as Friday, May 26th. So, Fisker Ocean 1 holders, it's on the way. The next wave, our priority will be to finalize the production and delivery of the remaining 5,000 Fisker Ocean 1s to all initial launch markets. As we continue to ramp up production and open the ordering process for other trims, current reservation holders can expect to receive an invitation to order their Fisker Ocean as those ordering windows open. More information regarding this will be provided in advance and closer to when the ordering process will take place. So Fisker has an expectation that these deliveries will happen soon. But Fisker's not in control of its own destiny. They're only planning to deliver 14 to 1,700 vehicles this quarter, provided all partners deliver. Yikes. 6,000 per month is the goal by the third quarter. But remember, that's a high expectation if 14 to 1,700 happened in the previous quarter. We all know how hard production ramp is. Fisker does not manufacture or supply anything for the Fisker Ocean. And while assembly is literally a non-issue, I have full faith in Magna, supply is a big one. And if they said it out loud, it's going to be a thing. Because they don't say a lot out loud. Speaking of silence, that's the current price for the Force E upgrade package, which will likely have a lot of interest as the ground clearance is now known to be just 7 inches with the 22s and under that with 20 inch rims. So, Q2, only the Ocean 1 and not all of them. Q3, probably the same, but they may deliver some extreme trims. That means the Ocean 1 could take up until September or October to finish deliveries. So where does that leave us for the Ultra and the Sport? November, December if I'm to guess, and regulatory approval goes through. Remember, those vehicles have just recently been built and have definitely not been submitted for regulatory approval. But November and December are still 2023, so promise kept there. Also a big concern, the reservation numbers have not changed in one quarter. Now 65,000 is obviously plenty of production for Fisker right now, but if you go a whole quarter before production starts and you don't have any new reservations, or the number of new reservations you're getting offsets the number of people who are canceling, that could be a worry. The silver lining here is software. It's been known for almost a year now that Fisker is behind with the development of software compared to the delivery estimates of their vehicles. And some software features were already planned to be rolled out over the air post-delivery. The delay in regulatory approval and supplier production may end up with more complete Fisker Oceans rolling into driveways than previously expected. Finally, there are plenty of tidbits and numbers popping up everywhere about the Fisker Ocean, but no real reviews. If you think I should message Fisker about a potential review, let me know that down in the comments, and I'll see what they have to say. Also, I've had a few of you reach out about your Ocean Ones, and I'd love to feature your order and delivery experience here on the channel. Message me at adamzvreviews at yahoo.com and we'll set something up, and I really appreciate it in advance. And that's got you all caught up. What did I miss? Let me know down in the comments below. Despite all this, Here's why you should keep your Fisker Ocean reservation, and this is a look at current industry EV trends. Subscribe for more. We'll see you on the next one. Hey, smash the like button. Thank you.